Tech in 5. Python in practice, master real-world projects in 5 minutes. Learn how to create a Discord bot in 5 minutes. Are you ready to dive in? First, head to the Discord developer portal at discord.com slash developers slash applications. Click New Application. Name your bot and click Create. Once the new application is created, your bot is automatically created. Select Bot on the left to see its details. Go ahead and scroll down where you'll find the Reset Token button. Click on this button to generate a token for your bot. Remember, keep this token private. Before we dive into the code, it's important to understand that our bot communicates with the Discord server using WebSocket technology for real-time data transfer. To ensure secure communication, SSL slash TLS certificates are essential for server authentication and data encryption. Therefore, you must ensure that you have the latest certificates installed. For Mac user, you can update your certificates by running the install certificates command found in Python installation directory. Now, let's start working on the bot code. First, import the Discord library to interact with Discord's API. Next, set the token with your actual bot token, which allows your bot to log in. Remember not to share your code with the actual token in it. Then, we create an intense object to specify what events our bot should listen for. We enable messages for DMs and guild messages for server messages. We create the client and initialize the bot with the specified intents, allowing it to start and interact with Discord. Here, we use the onReady event listener to confirm the bot's successful connection to Discord with a console message. The onMessage function is triggered whenever the bot receives a message. First, we need to make sure that the bot does not respond to its own messages to avoid an infinite loop. Then, the bot checks the message. If the bot is mentioned in the message, it responds with hello, followed by the author's name. Finally, run the bot with the provided token. Now, we can run the code and should see the message, we have logged in as tech in 5 bot in the console. Now that our bot is up and running, let's go back to the Discord developer portal so that we can add the bot to a Discord server. On the left-hand side, click on the OAuth2 tab. This is where we'll generate the invite link for our bot. Scroll down to the OAuth2 URL generator section. Here, we'll specify the permissions our bot needs. In the scope section, check the box labeled bot. This tells Discord that we're generating an invite for a bot. After selecting bot in the scopes, a new section called bot permissions appears. Here, choose the permissions your bot needs. For our simple greeting bot, send messages is essential. With the permissions set, the URL at the bottom of the scope section is your bot's invite link. Click copy to grab this URL. Paste the invite link into your web browser. Choose a server to add your bot to and click continue. You might need to verify you're not a robot and then click Authorize to add the bot to the selected server. And that's it! Your bot is now part of your Discord server, ready to greet users when mentioned. Now, we're taking our bot to the next level by adding a new feature that enables it to engage more interactively within your Discord server. To achieve this, we're following two essential steps to ensure our bot can seamlessly interact and offer enhanced functionality. First. We enable the message content intent. This action allows our bot to read message content on your server, making sure it can react and interact based on the messages it encounters. Then we dive into our bot's code to properly incorporate these intents. This step assigns our bot ability to listen to and understand server conversations. In the on message event, we check if the incoming message starts with joke. If the message matches, our bot selects a joke at random from a predefined list named Python jokes. The selected joke is sent back to the channel from which the command was received, bringing a moment of humor to the conversation. This feature demonstrates how we can make bots engaging and add a personal touch to our server interactions. As we conclude today's session, our bot is now better equipped to engage with your Discord server. But this is just the beginning of our interactive bot creation adventure, and we're excited to explore the possibilities with you in our future videos. Stay tuned for more videos on Tekken 5.